So I'm going to try some interference paint. Interference paint is um, titanium coated mica flakes. So they basically interfere with the light spectrum. On white paper, they look just incredibly pale. You really can't see much at all. But on black paper or dark paper or dark colours, um, that's when you really see the amazing interference of the paint. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. It is interference violet. And this one is interference blue. You can get blue green. You can get green. You can get quite a few different colours. See how against the dark background it becomes like pearlescent or um, that metallic-y mother of pearl kind of look. Now, they really are incredibly beautiful. I've played with them a fair amount um, over my years as an artist. Look at that green one. Looks very power in the colours. So there's power shell. See how it's got that incredible pearlescent metallic mix of purples and greens. Well, this is what the interference colours do. They have that incredible pearlescent metallic look to them over dark colours. Over white or light colours, you won't see that at all. I love that. My gosh, I absolutely love that. Anyway, so I'm going to have a play with some um, interference colours, but it'll have to be over the backgrounds that are too dark, which is fine. I just happen to have some. I'm going to put on some, I think some green, some green and blue. This, I'm using the golden fluid you can get full body in the interference paints and you can get other brands that's just what i happen to have in my uh, drawers right this very second um, as you can see it's very fine paint uh, it's a lot thinner so it'll be very interesting to see what it does on a jelly plate i actually haven't tried this before with the jelly plate but you know Let's try it. Let's try it with through a stencil and see what it does. Also, you won't see the colour um, probably until it dries a bit because it still looks quite milky white when it's wet. As it dries, you see that pearlescent colour come out. Let's see what it does. I can honestly say I haven't tried this before. So you can see the little splotches of the interference paint. I'll show you once that dries and how that's come out because um, it'll have much more effect. This time I'm going to try it with a full bodied interference paint to see if it's being a bit thicker. It might have more impact. This was a violet, interference violet. And you can see as I'm rolling it on, the different color that it is. This has got a bit more uh, body to it than the fluid, so it might have more of an impact with the stencil, is my theory. <laughs> and it is definitely a theory. Put it on this one, because that one's boring. And let's see what it does. Not to worry. Wow, so that's got more impact because it's more of a full bodied paint. Um, so that's that one. The other one was the fluid paint, which I think was a bit too thin. But that's got a bit of oomph to it. That's fun. Like that, it looks like fireworks. Now the interference fine in the fluid was a bit thin for a stencil, but I'm pretty sure that the full body interference paint will work just fine. I'm going to try my theory with some beautiful interference blue. Look at that opalescent color. It's just like magic. I, love it. I just love it. I am going to put a bit more on because I am using a stencil. So you want to have a pretty good thick coverage. To go through the stencil 
and let's see what we can do. That might be a little bit too much, but not to worry. And I'm never bothered about these kinds of things. So remember, the interference color has to go over a dark background. So if you've got something that didn't quite turn out the way you'd hoped, why don't you try some interference blue? It's that incredible opalescent color. I just love it. Let's see what it does. So that's the interference blue on a uh, stencil, which is the full body paint and works a lot better than the thin fluid paint. Uh, that'll come up even more beautiful as it dries. I will show you when it dries because that will look quite cool. Of course, there's a lot of leftover paint there from the ghost print and I'm going to use this dark image. So look how nice that whole covering of the interference blue is gonna look. That's gonna look very pearlescent and opalescent when it's dried. It's gonna look beautiful and I will show you. So the interference paint didn't work so great on the stencil, the interference fine in a fluid. But I was thinking, what about if I painted it straight onto the jelly plate, didn't use a stencil, and printed it that way? That might have more impact. So you can see how it looks on white. It looks very unimpressive. <laughs> but you can see the opalescent already in the blue, in the interference blue. That's what I love, is that beautiful opalescent look to it. So if you see it now on the jelly plate, that's what creates that beautiful power looking color once it's on a dark background. So I'm gonna have a little play with this just to show you how incredible these paints are because you know you need to have a little experiment with what's out there and what's available so I'm just painting it with a brush this is the fluid interference paints um, they're a lot thinner than the full body and these ones don't do well in a stencil as we just saw but I am going to try just putting them straight on the jelly plate and printing it from there because I think these beautiful little colors have a lot to give. Right, so that's on the jelly plate. I know it looks very unimpressive. Uh, that's my background, beautiful and dark. And we'll see what it does. Now, I will have to show you once it dries a bit because it does also look more impressive as it dries. So hold the phone caller and I'll show you when it's dry, how amazing it is. Ooh. So that's our little smudgy print straight from the jelly plate. Now, as you can see, you can see the difference that it made being on the dark background because of the interference coated mica flakes, which are fascinating. Uh, so I'll show you once that's dry how beautiful it is. But you can totally see where I'm, I'm, what I'm on about with the power colours. Yes. So I'll take some more of that. As I just happen to have so many dark backgrounds. See, that looks pretty nice too. Just going to have one more little play with it because I just am so fascinated by these incredible colors. Look how cool that looks. So the prints with the interference paint have dried more now. This is the fluid interference that didn't do well with a stencil but did fabulous painting it on. 
the jelly plate. So that's what it looks like in the raw state. Pretty uninteresting, but look how glorious that is painted on a dark background once it's dried. It comes up absolutely amazing. I'm telling you, look, it's just like power. Absolutely beautiful, those opalescent, pearlescent, metallic pigments. Incredible. I absolutely love interference paints. So you should definitely experiment with that. Just remember it's got to be on a dark background. So here are the beautiful jelly plate prints, all nice and dried. You can see that opalescent color that comes through from the interference blue. Uh, that's the full body that I did with the stencil. Pretty nice. And then this is the interference green. That's pretty nice too. Then these are the ghost prints that was the all over color. That's got a bit of blue and green on it. And this one is the green. Look at the intensity of that color. Absolutely love the way. These, the impact of the interference paints over dark prints that you otherwise might have thrown away. So make sure you have a look at that. They will set you back a little bit. You know, if they are an artist grade paint, they're not the more affordable brand like these ones, but just having a few key artist paints really works well in your creative toolbox. So this is a really good one to just know that it's out there on the market, have a little play with it and see what amazing creative prints you can come up with.